Look at the difference paint can make. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. It is so cold outside for the spring that I'm not flying my drones these days, so I don't have any new uh, drone footage to show you. And on Cosmo and Vector, our robots, there's nothing really new for the past week or two. So I do a lot of 3D printing these days. And in the past two days, I did the Parthenon in Athens, Greece. This is an amazing building. I was lucky enough to go there and visit the site. This was built in 447 BC. Construction lasted until around 432 BC. So this building is 2,500 years old. That's just amazing. Um, I invite you to look at the history on the Google it. Uh, read, for example, on Wikipedia. Um, unfortunately, in 1687, there was a major explosion. Uh, there was a war, unfortunately, and that explosion destroyed the roof and part of the side wall, as you can see here. So this is the way it is uh, today. It's being renovated yet. Uh, still uh, these days, but look at the uh, look at the details. This is very very impressive. So this file you can get on myminifactory.com. It's a mini world 3D design, like many of their designs. It's very nice. When you download the file, it's a little small. So this was enlarged by 260 percent. That fits well on the Ender 3 bed and uh, give you dimensions here that you will get this is 19 centimeters uh, wide or long and about 7.5 inches for my friends in the u.s and the uh, width is nine centimeters or three and a half inches and the uh, height is 5.5 centimeters or about two uh, inches so at 260 percent with these dimensions it takes uh, 18 hours to print with the parameters i put here at the bottom of the screen so very very nice and actually i want to make a comment if i was the minister of education yes i know but if i was and i say that because my kids go to school and they don't have access to a 3d printer unfortunately so if I was the Minister of Education, I would put at least one 3D printer in every school in my country. Like, how cool is this? You can use a 3D model in your classroom. It's very solid. So you can have students pass this around in the classroom. They can see the building in 3D. In my opinion, much better than having a picture on a smart board in a classroom. So anyway, this is what I would do. Now, I printed this with white filament because I want to paint it to have a look that is, well, more similar to what we have today after 2,500 years. Probably when this was brand new, the marble was probably like almost pure white. But now with the time, with the age, with the sun exposure, it's more like a yellowish color, like a beige. So I have here white, I have yellow. Uh, a very light gold and a light brown. So I'm going to mix these colors and I'll try to get a look that is very close to what we have today. So I'm going to paint this and I'll come back tomorrow. I interrupt this video to make a comment. 1687, as I said, big explosion. That's very unfortunate because basically this building survived approximately 500 years of Roman Empire a thousand years of the Middle Ages and it took only one major explosion to damage most of the building. That's very unfortunate and I just want to make the comment that it is unfortunate because future generations are missing out on an amazing building basically. 24 hours later what a difference paint makes sometimes. Now, before I show you the details here on the side camera, in a few seconds, let me just explain the challenge I had with painting this. So I tried to mix my uh, yellow, white, and my light brown, and my light gold, and 
I was trying to get the right taint and I, I couldn't so I used the gold with a light gold with a lot of water so we could see the white of the uh, of the PLA through the paint and still it was too gold so I thought oh my god what am I going to do so I thought that using white spray paint from a distance and I did that twice on all four faces that added a bit of white on a light gold background and that really that did the trick so look at this here on the side uh, camera look at that I'm quite uh, really I'm quite happy with the with the result it's very close to the actual uh, Parthenon in uh, in uh, Athens so very very nice uh, model highly recommended so guys let me know in the comments below what you think of this uh, of this uh, print and uh, see you next time goodbye guys